This is Mike with Christian Meds. This week I want to talk a little bit about just uh, having a YouTube channel and you know just kind of some of the strengths and weaknesses of just trying to get it going. So let's get started. this for more than a year and a half and um, things have not really gone as planned um, you know part of it is you know working a full-time job and part of, part of it is getting frustrated without with um, not being able to put ads on a website like I thought I would to be able to finance this so you know I basically I had a website a long time ago that I had Google Ads on, and when I started this one, it wouldn't let me put it on the site. So there is a Christian Med site that backs up, you know, this YouTube channel. Um, but I've never really promoted it because I felt like I never had ads on there to, um, you know, drive traffic to it. And maybe that was the wrong idea. Maybe I should have just driven traffic to it anyway. But I've just never been able to sort that out. I think I might try again and see if I can figure that out. Um, but every time I've tried, it says it couldn't recognize or wouldn't let me put ads on. The ads would just never show up. And of course, you know, Google's so big now that you can't, you have nobody to contact or no customer service to deal with. So, I'm not sure what to do, you know, but, um, but for the most part, I feel like I've grown because I've created a YouTube channel and showed the discipline to make a video every week. I still plan on making one at least through the end of the year, um, but if I can't get things sorted and things figured out, I may end up stopping. Um, so, I, I'm just trying to be honest and say, you know, things just don't go as smooth. You know, but the big thing is, you know, I feel like I've grown in, in the Lord doing these every week. You know, I'm, you know, I'm not the stereotypical Christian, you know. I understand the aspect of frequency, which most people don't. Um, you know, I don't know if that's because of my shaman background or just study but you know I understand that I can control my state and that I can um, you know keep myself from a fight and flight type situation to a rest of life type situation you know and whether that's what they call balancing chakras or it's just having a change of mindset you know and understanding that you know, God's creation is vibrating at a given frequency and you can tap into that frequency and feel, you know, more relaxed and, um, you know, just grounded. You know, there's a reason why when we go out in um, the forest or things like that, that we feel like we're decompressing and that we're, we're relaxing and that we're, you know, we're absolutely getting back to nature type of thing. You know, there's reasons why that is the case. It's because we're designed that way, you know, and it's God's design. So, you know, a lot of these types of things, Christians fear and Christians like say, oh, that's New Age or that's this or that's that. Everybody wants to categorize everything and say, you fall in this category and not that category. Now, my faith in... Jesus Christ to set me right with a God that I should fear because he is all-powerful and all-knowing and I know that I don't walk perfectly and I know I will never walk perfectly you know without his help so anything I do that's good anything that I do that's productive anything I do to further his kingdom you know he gets the glory not me you know and I've grown in that way by doing these videos and, and really realizing that he is 
is in control. You know, he's blessing me, you know, all kinds of ways. You know, just because I feel more grounded in him, him as my cornerstone, him as my rock. Now, just because I have these other tendencies that, um, and understanding, and can feel, you know, that I can cope with life better. You know, sometimes, you know, people don't treat you right. Someday, sometimes you just have bad days, and that's okay, you know. But when you have a rock to just stand on that you know loves and cares for you in the Lord, you know, that is just a relation that is so glorious and so beneficial to people coping with life and not getting depressed and not, you know, and, and persevering through, you know, very difficult times. And I've had difficult times since the whole thing, COVID starting, and I've had difficult times when it came to dealing with my teeth and all that. And I've shared a lot of that on this channel, but that is only the way I get through these types of adversities is because I know I have a rock to stand on. And I know that God's got my back. And I know that no matter what, as long as I'm honest and try to do the right thing in all situations, then I'm going to come out on top of it at the end. So those are just some of my thoughts this week. Hope everybody's having, you know, a good week and blessings to all of you. Talk again next week.